Hello, my name is Heather Mitru, and I'm a board certified behavior analyst at Brett DeNovi and Associates. Today, I'll be discussing clicker training, which can be used in a variety of different ways, such as during home sessions, in schools, sports, or animal training. Clicker training is an evidence-based teaching strategy that has been used within the field of applied behavior analysis. However, there is still more research needed for working with individuals on the autism spectrum. Currently, there are only a few studies incorporating clicker training procedures, specifically with individuals with autism. Persicki, Jackson, and Adams in 2014 used clicker training to decrease toe walking in a four-year-old with autism. Wartalik and Kobina in 2018 compared video modeling and tag teach to teach ADL skills. Lamarca et al. in 2018 used tag teach to prepare children to participate in a neurofeedback study, NFT. This is a clicker. I will continue to discuss how you could use it in your own sessions. This video will cover fifth edition task list topics, G3, G7, G1, and B4. A clicker is a conditioned reinforcer, which can be found under the fifth edition task list, G3. It is a stimulus change that functions as a reinforcer because of prior pairing with one or more other reinforcers. A clicker becomes a learned reinforcer after being paired with a primary reinforcer, such as an edible. What other behavior components stem from clicker training? Positive reinforcement. When first introducing the clicker training into a training, you want to use reinforcement immediately. The behavior occurs and that behavior is reinforced with the sound of a click. The more this continues, the more positive results you will see. Shaping, which is under G7 in the fifth edition task list, is reinforcing successive approximations to reach a terminal behavior. And in clicker training, that is exactly what you are doing. Teaching with acoustical guidance, also known as TAC Teach, is a clicker training curriculum that promotes positive interactions for increased productivity and success. The acronym TAG stands for Teaching with Acoustical Guidance and refers to the audible marker, a key tool used in the system designed to highlight success. The TAG Teach protocol also includes tools to deliver information, reduce inefficient language, assess performance, create confidence, and deliver positive reinforcement. In TAG Teach, there's a component called a TAG, which is the behavior that receives the click. The tag is a combination of reinforcement and shaping. For example, a client to say the word cup. The first tag point would be the k sound. The client responds correctly with the sound k and gets a click. This continues until mastery. Next, the k will no longer receive a click and the new tag point will be the uh sound. The same teaching continues only until the entire word is pronounced with success. Another example how tag teach can be used in the classroom. The teacher is shaping and providing reinforcement when the student places the paper in the correct spot. You will hear the teacher say, the tag point is paper in line. The student responds correctly and you hear the audible click and he receives a token. There are three basic parts to learn about tag teach. The tag teach triangle, the focus funnel, and the acronym WOOF. The tag teach triangle has three components. Identify, identify what your goal is, and then break it down. What's the tag point? Tag, tag and use the clicker for the correct behavior. And reinforce, reinforce could be the sound of the clicker itself or tokens or edibles, etc. Next is the focus funnel, which also has three parts. Lesson, give you a background of what you're learning, this skill and the ultimate goal. Instructions, a brief explanation of what you'll be doing and the tag point the breakdown of the behavior overall. What are you doing right now? Woof explains the tag point in detail. What makes up a tag point? W, what you want, keep it positive. O, one thing, one step or behavior at a time. O, observable, clear targets, learners and teaches should be able to identify the behavior. F, five words or less, helps the learner remain on task and focus on what they are exactly doing. Like all methods, there are advantages and disadvantages. Advantages of TAC Teach could be immediate feedback, it's easy to use, and the audible click is in replacement of using a verbal statement that could get dragged out sometimes. You can just click and move forward. Teaches the learner to reassess and try again in the absence of a click. Disadvantages. 
staff could need additional training and maintaining the skills. In the article, Using Conditioned Reinforcers to Improve Behavior Change, Change Skills, Clicker Training for Practitioners by Heron et al. in 2018, they used clicker training as a form of immediate feedback for ABA therapists to emit correct behaviors during sessions with clients. All participants have already been trained in the basic principles of behavior analysis. Before each session, ABA therapist was told which of the two target clinical skills they were going to observe and when told the therapist to interact with their client as usual. Each time the target behavior occurred, the researcher sounded a click immediately within one second. Results showed that introducing a clicker was an effective conditioned reinforcer and increased the percentage of opportunities in which the therapist correctly engaged in all target behaviors. Other studies that used clicker training or tag teach methods are Ennett et al. in 2019 used tag teach to teach beginning yoga poses to adults. Quinn et al. in 2015 using peers to provide auditory feedback to each other for select dance movements. And Harrison and Piles in 2013 also used tag teach to shape high school football players to improve tackling. Clicker training can be easy and fun for both the client and trainer when done correctly. As research shows, it is an effective method to teach new skills across a variety of different people and settings. If you are interested in this topic and would like to learn more, please visit www.tagteach.com and you will find references and published articles and everything you need to know to help get started. Leave a comment below for ideas on how you would use this method during your training sessions. As always, to help disseminate the science of applied behavior analysis, subscribe to our channel and share this video.